Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And guys, it looks like the hollow. And guys, it looks like the Thanksgiving event is taking place. It's the Golden Turkey Rush. And honestly, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing here. It's been a while since I did this event. It, I don't know, it, I wasn't sure if it was going to do it this year because it didn't seem to take off too well the first time. But it looks like we are trying to find a Thanksgiving dinner here. And we've done all these other ones. We got the decorations, a fish frying pan, scuff carps. So somehow or another, we've got to get a dish called assorted sashimi. Now, where do we have to go to get that? Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, unless it's part of the corn harvest here. But yeah, we've caught everything else. We got the smoke trophies, a festive fish soup, stuffed carps, fish frying pan. I guess it's everything we need. I don't know. Um, table decorations we got. Vine and cornucopia. I don't know if we have to do this one first, the corn harvest, which means we have to go to all these places. Harvest Golden Corn at Lone Star Lake. Let's see, Vila Fishery. Mudwater River. Well, I don't know. We'll have to... Well, let's first go to this... To Mudwater River and see what the heck it might say there. Maybe it gives you an idea. Not very clear. Well, actually, I went to mud water, but that'll work too. I thought I hit Lone Star. Let me put that away and see if there's something that we're supposed to see. Fair dish called a sort of sashimi. I don't know if there's something here we're supposed to find. Yeah, here's a cauldron. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay. It didn't matter where we went. Let's cook a delicious dish. Fresh fish pie. Get the mission. Okay. Oh, we already got that one. We completed it. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I guess we gotta leave. Let me make sure that we don't have a corn harvest here. Harvest corn at Mudwater River. Yep. Well, let's see if we can't find the corn, if nothing else. So, where is the corn? Right here? Alright, we got that. So we need to go out of here. A lot of traveling, it looks like. Yeah, it didn't say where I was supposed to go <laughs> to get to the to the next meal mission. Maybe it goes up in order. I don't know. But we got to get the corn anyway. So let's go ahead and. 
Find the corn. Let's see. Do we have to do anything here? How about we prepare a Thanksgiving meal together? Yeah, we already got that, so we can't get it there. So we need to find the corn. I think the corn might be over here. I think I had started this. Well. I thought that was... Oh, there it is. I wasn't close enough. Okay. So we gotta go to all those places, guys. <laughs> so since we got to anyway, we might as well go through it. I think that's what happened is I was supposed to pick those up originally when I went through and each time I was finding a meal. So I'm gonna have to go to each place in order to try to figure out what's next as far as the meals go okay so we already got Mudwater River we got Lone Star I think Lesney Vila is next doesn't cost that much to go to these places for me so it's not gonna hurt anything anyway and while we're here, we can figure out where the cauldrons are and the corn is. Alright, put that away. Alright, it's probably over there by the house. That's my guess. Yep, I hear... Yeah, we already got the stuffed carps. There's the corn. All right, we got another one knocked out. Good gosh, we got to go to Rocky Lake next. So it's at the house, guys, by the way. So Rocky Lake is next. My guess is probably Burntastic Fishing is where we're going to find it. Nope, I guessed wrong. <laughs> I don't see corn anywhere. So we got to go through here and find it. Now, Gotta listen for the turkey. That's how you know you're near it. There it is. Golden corn. There's the cauldron. There it is. So it was Rocky Lake we needed to get the next one. It says, take the freshest just caught trout, cut into thin slices, and garnish with herbs. Voila! Trout sashimi, a delicacy for the true gourmets, is ready. Don't waste your time and catch your tackle. Alright, I think we have to use golden corn for that, too. Yep, telescopic rod with golden corn. I don't have a telescopic rod with me. Well, isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> I gotta go back to the main thing. Oh, crap. Yeah. Well, I gotta leave. Hold on. Yeah, they definitely make you jump around here. I literally have six million cash. Plus, it's not gonna kill me at this point, but for you entry level people, it is gonna be quite costly. So, I don't know if this is gonna benefit you guys or not, but for me, I want to kind of complete this mission if possible. <clears throat> All right, I need to find a replacement for one of my rods here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get 
Replace the equator match with a telescopic rod of some type. I think I actually have one that is... I thought I had one that was actually... Thanksgiving based. Yeah, I do. The tomahawk. Yeah, I do. Alright, we're going to have to get this put away here. Yeah, the tomahawk was one I got with an earlier mission. But I might go ahead and get a little bit bigger rod. Just to make sure to make it easier. Make sure that is... See the Tomahawk, the Troy, the Telefloat. Let's try the Troy. Well, actually, we could use the Tomahawk. It's going to be a little more challenging. But it is actually an entry-level sized one. <coughs> I'm going to need a small reel. Let's see if I can find one that goes under that. I might not even have one. Yeah, dude. Pocahontas. That's the one that goes with it. I still have it. I wasn't sure if I kept it or not. And we need... We got six pound test. We're going to need four pound or five pound probably. Have any four or five pound? Yeah, we have six pound. Oh wow, I don't think we have any that small. We might actually have to go to the shop and buy some. Let's see, line, we got. If we can get some light floral line, that would be best. But I don't think they have any that small. Let me just give it a try. Let me see if it will actually take the light line. It really may not. No, it took it. Okay. We're just going to have to be real careful. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and put an oval on there. I'm not even sure if I have any of that light. 7.9. No, I don't have any. I'm going to have to buy some. So, we need probably mono leaders. I doubt the floral leaders are going to be that small. Oh, nope, we got fluorocarbon leaders. It would be probably preferable to use the fluorocarbon leader because they are clear, so you're not going to scare the trout off. We've got a lot of room in here, so it's not a big deal. Now for trout, we don't really need a really big hook. Number two, anywhere from two to two odd. I would go with number two, honestly. We'll try with, we'll start with there. And then we gotta get this golden corn. How much golden corn do I have? 60? That should be plenty. That should be good. Let's go back to Rocky Lake. Should be able to get this done now. We need to catch how many of these guys? Yeah, I want to go over here. 
Well, let's see, what's the peak? We need to get into the peak here. There we go. We got our tomahawk here going on. Need to put golden corn on it. That should do it. So we just have to catch... Ooh. Trophy. Colorado Golden Trout. Not an easy task. With this kind of reel. Oh, man. Yeah, not going to be easy. Let me see. How do I release that? F11 to turn that off to where you can cast this. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it out far enough. Golden Colorado Trout is not going to be easy to catch. Yeah, I think that's where I had left off last time. They are going to be tricky to get. I have caught them over next to that group of floating seaweed type stuff. And I've caught them over there next to the rocks in the past. I thought I caught them out a little bit farther. That's the only thing that worries me. I'm not so sure this rod's going to cast far enough what I need. We are going to bite, though. So that's a good sign. And they gotta be trophies. Well, you'd think I was catching a monster fish here. <laughs> Definitely challenging myself here. Wow! First try! Trophy gold, Colorado Golden Trout. <laughs> I cannot believe I got that. Holy crap. That was that was pretty good. Yeah, let me get a let me get a picture of him. That's not bad. I swear to God, I was like, oh, I'll never get that. <laughs> of course, I still have one more to get. Apparently, I already gotten one in the last last year. I like I said, I've haven't played it in a while. I didn't check the last episode. I probably had it in there, so. Y'all are going, hey, you already completed that much. You had to need to do this. No, I just jumped right in and just started playing. So I do not believe that I made any mistake going to those other places to get the golden corn, though. That is going to help me get this, all these missions completed. So let me get a picture of him. And let's see if we can make a marker there. So maybe we can get lucky again. And catch another one. Right there. Close enough. That would blow my mind if I got two of them in a row. Well, it's definitely a big fish. Bigger fish. There he goes. Of course, if it is a rainbow trout of any distinct size, it's going to be challenging to get it in, especially with four pound test.
Ah, he escaped. It wasn't one anyway. I could tell it wasn't. It was definitely some other... I think it was a cutthroat. There we go again. Yep, young cutthroat trout. Let me try over here, because I tell you, I have caught them here before, too. Maybe just switching back and forth might increase my odds a little bit. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. I remembered somebody saying that they spent a lot of time trying to catch the three trophy Golden Colorado Trout. Because regular Golden Colorado Trout won't count. Hell, if you get a unique one, it won't count. You have to get a trophy. <laughs> so that's tricky. All right, guys, I threw it back in the same spot just because I was not getting anything over there at all. But it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of these young cutthroat in that same spot. I'm just going to keep it there for now because I know I got one there. So <laughs> we are getting bites here. And I've caught him here plenty of times in the past. Come on. Too small, too small. Ah, it's a little blue gill. Yeah, let's try this. If we're going to get bluegill now, we may need to size our hook up. I don't want to keep wasting our corn. Let's get a, let's put a two odd. I thought about putting a two odd on there, but it should not be too big to catch them. Yeah, this last one's going to be a pain in the butt, I guarantee you. It's not going to come that easily. We're going to get bites. Young rainbow trout that time. Getting all the young ones. Well, they have no problem going for this bait, I'll tell you that. They're definitely digging the golden corn. Yeah, there's been a bit of a lull here. I did get one nibble, but... See, I'm hearing something's biting it. But... Must be too small. Needs to be something considerably bigger and a trophy. Definitely fit that bill. Sometimes recasting these help. That's right at the marker this time. Yeah, if 
we don't get a bite here soon, guys, I think I am going to go back down to the number two hook. I was doing a heck of a lot better. Granted, I was getting smaller fish, but still did get the trophy in. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, this one's too small. It's too small. They come in too easily like that. You know you don't have the right kind of fish. Oh, if it's getting a young rainbow trout, it's going to get the Golden Colorado ones. Especially trophy size. Alright, we're getting a bite. Another two small fish, I can tell. Trophy bluegill, though. Yeah, we are definitely doing... Oh, aquatic biologists at Rocky Lake. Catch all fish species of trophy form in Rocky Lake. Two bait coins. All right. Not bad. Yeah, they weren't biting on a two-odd as much. So I went back to the number two. And I managed to catch him. <laughs> and we'll see if anything else happens. If we don't if we just get small fish, I'm probably gonna cut that out. As well as the dead time. Come on. He's something big. Okay, this This is not a little fish. Now the trick, tricky thing with these damn trout is they can get off of that line so easy. So you gotta keep it up in the air. Otherwise this fight will be for nothing. Whoa, shoot. It still did it. I got him. Can you believe it? I managed to get them both. Holy crap. That didn't take as long as I thought. Not bad, guys. We did it. We did it. I think he was a little bit bigger, too, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. I am very happy with that turnout. That was supposed to be one of the hardest ones, if I'm not mistaken. So you take the fish, rosemary mint to the cauldron. I guess this cauldron will work. Get the dish. There we go. Thanksgiving dish is sort of sashimi. The item is placed to your backpack. All right, and now we gotta take the dish to the cornucopia Lone Star Lake. So we are leaving. We didn't do too bad. Like I said, we got a trophy bluegill out of that too. A couple of bait coins, another mission completed. Aquatic biologist at Rocky Lake Challenge. All right, we're going back to Lone Star. And go into a club room so we don't bother people. I have a feeling this place is going to be packed with people trying to complete these missions. This is the busiest lake for the Thanksgiving event. we got to go to the Cornucopia. And we've got the Asura Shishimi. You are a food expert. Bitcoin, 1500 cash. And, of course, they go back to the corn harvest, which we are going to continue doing. 
So it looks like the next place we gotta go is Emerald Lake. Now I don't know if I got the food dish there or not. Let me see here. Thanksgiving dinner, we got a pair of dish called trout tacos. Let's go to Emerald Lake. Let's see if that is the next fish dish. Now there's the golden corn. So we'll get that out of the way. And where's the cauldron at? I bet you anything. Okay, is there one here? That's a good question. There might not be one at every one of these. Or it could be somewhere else. Let me go ahead and jump in my canoe here. We don't need to get in our big old monster boat for this. Yeah, it could be over here, for all I know. They might make you look for it. Yeah, I'm going to check up here to see if there's a cauldron up here, but... No? So maybe all we need to get was the golden corn. Alright then, that's fine. We'll go ahead and leave. Next one is at the Heron River. Something tells me they're going to be at the ones that do not have any boats. But we'll check around. I'll let you know if there's anything there that's worth staying for. Show you where the corn is found. Sometimes I find it right away, obviously. Yeah, I don't see any cauldrons here. No corn here. Ah, I see it. I see it. And there's the cauldron. Perfect. More golden corn. And I think, yep, I already got this one. So, we've at least located where the cauldron is. So we are now going to go ahead and leave again. Go to, what do they call it? Ganet, Ganet Knusen? I never can pronounce that. All the way over here to the Netherlands. Yep, no boats. So I think the cauldrons are at the locations where there are no boats. Which does make it a little bit easier. Now, which spawn point? Not sure. We'll have to find here in a second. Huh. There's the cauldron. We've already gotten that one. Now we need to find the corn. And here it is. Then we need to harvest gar golden corn Tiber River. So now we need to leave. Now there probably will not be any cauldrons there. All right. I think I did go to Tiber River in this event. I'm 
expecting it's going to be over here. It's just a guess. But we'll try each spawn point. No. Let's try this one. There's the golden corn. So it's at the main one. I'm just making sure there isn't a cauldron around. I don't think it's here. Just to make sure. On all the spawn points, in all situations, they've been pretty close to where they're supposed to be. Yeah, I don't think it's there either. We already looked there. I don't think we need to mess with that anymore, so let's go ahead and head out of here. So we've got two more. We got harvest corn. We got two more dishes. So if they're not there, I don't know where they are. So, St. Croix, let's try St. Croix. Ah, there's the corn. Ah, and here is the pot. Trout tacos. So the trout tacos are found at St. Croix, guys. Just so you know. So we're going to go ahead and initiate that. This is trout tacos. Trout dishes are always incredibly tender and tasty. No matter what recipe you follow. However, the trout from the clear watered St. Croix Lake and a crispy taco shell is an extraordinary delicacy that is worth trying. One Bitcoin, 1500 cash. So use telescopic rod. I need to go ahead and grab that, I guess. Oh, and a barbless hook. Okay. So they're making it a little more challenging. Do I have a barbless hook? There's the question. Probably do, but not a small one. Yeah, I do. Kind of big, though. See what happens when I put it on there. Okay, so I need to catch brook trout, brown trout, and tiger trout. Five of each. Wow, that's tough. <laughs> that's going to be tough. Well, I think we're going to end this here, guys, because we have completed almost all the corn missions. We just have, what do we got, like maybe one left to go? No, we have to go to Quanchkin Lake and San Joaquin. So that will complete that. We need to catch, like I said, brown trout, tiger trout, and brook trout. I tell you, the best place to fish for them that I have run into them is right over here. At this spot. Right off this dock. And in this area over here. That's where I've caught them most often. And I'm going to take a look at them. I might have markers for them here, guys. Yep, tiger trout. Brook trout. So, yep, right here, guys. Anyway, we will be back in the next episode, and that's what we're going to be focusing on is catching brook trout, brown trout, and tiger trout. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And enjoy the Thanksgiving event. Don't do it my way. My way is actually kind of not fair because, like I said, I have a lot of cash 
and I can get it back quite easily. So anyway, guys, as always, say aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.